Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where I show you how to set up and run your own dedicated server within Pal World. So there's a lot of kind of really small steps where the details are very important. So make sure if you need to pause the video, do what you need to do and then come back and I'll try to be as slow and as detailed as I possibly can. So first things first, this is done on my PC. Uh, Pal World is installed on my Steam, my Steam client here and I'm gonna show you exactly start to finish what you need to do. So first things first, make sure you obviously have Pal World installed, which I already do. And then the next thing that I'm going to tell you is up here where you are under your library, right where it says games, you need to hit the drop down and go ahead and put a check next to tools. This will allow you to install, if you've purchased Pal World, it will allow you to install the Pal World dedicated server. So go ahead and click on that, install that. That's going to be the first thing that we're going to want to do. So once you've done that, you've installed Pal World plus the dedicated server alongside that. And now the first thing I want you to do is just right click on the Pal World dedicated server. And then I want you to go to manage and then browse local files. Click on browse local files. Once we've done that, we'll bring up the folder with everything inside of it. And you're gonna see a couple of different things. You're not going to see the world settings just yet. So the first thing I want you to do is you should see the application that says Pal Server right here. If you just double click on that, it'll open up a black box. It may do a few things. Uh, and it should eventually look like this with a line at the top. This means nothing to you right now and it shouldn't. So once you've opened that up, the box comes up. You then just X out of that. I know, stupid, but that's what you need to do. Now you're going to go back into this folder, the, the folder here underneath the Pal World dedicated server, and now you should see a settings or a config file here, and you want to double click on that. It's going to open it up in Notepad. If you have something that you normally edit text files in, uh, JSON, if you have a Note plus, uh, Notepad++, plus plus, you could do it in any of those. It doesn't really matter. Now, the things that we want to pay attention to are at the very bottom of this text string. Now, I know this is a lot of gibberish here, but just stay with me. So once we're here at the very bottom here, you'll see something starting with server name. If we go right here under server name, you can see that the server name equals, and then you should see quotations. Now, I've already inserted my name right here, and then you have a server description. Put the description in between the quotations, Admin password, same thing between the quotation if you want it. Server password in between the quotation. And then you're going to see something here that says public port 8211. This is important. The public port is critical alongside your public, I, your public IP right here. Uh, this should have quotations, but eventually I'll show you what you need to do here. So take note of everything. Put a server name, a password if you want and make sure you're good to go. Also at the very bottom, you'll see region. Uh, you can put NA here if you're in the NA or whatever region you're in, you can put that here. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can certainly do that as well. All right, so don't close out of this just yet. The next thing you need to do is find out what your PC's IP address is. So the premise of running a server is the server is going to be running all the time on your PC. So it's gonna be run from your PC, but accessible from everyone the way that this is going to work if you do it correctly. So now we need to find out what your PC's IP address is. If you already know it, go ahead and put it right here where it says public IP equals in between the parentheses. Go ahead and type in what your IP address for this PC is. If you don't know what it is and you want to find it, go to the search bar at the bottom of your PC, type in CMD, which will open up the command prop when you hit enter, and then type in the word IP config, just like this, and then hit enter. And then you're going to look for something that says IPv4 address. Whatever it says at the end of this is going to be your PC's IP address. That's a lot to say there. So hopefully you got that. Now, once you have the IP address, go ahead and put it here where it says public IP back in the default you know, world settings for your server. Now, once you've done all of this, go to file, save, make sure it's saved, make sure you're good to go. Now, the next part, is going to be extremely difficult and it's really gonna depend on what internet server you use. So remember earlier when I showed you in that file that there was a port? Well, we have to open up port forwarding for our internet provider. Now for me, I have Xfinity. 
And for Xfinity, I have to use my Gateway app and log in. So you have to log into the back end of your internet provider. I just went to I just went and Googled Xfinity, how to set up port forwarding, and it took me to this article first thing. And then you need to go and figure out, okay, how do I get there? Okay, here's port forwarding here. And then it basically walks you through how to add port forwarding. So you need to make sure that you're doing this the right way. So for you, you may be using Spectrum or whatever internet provider that you may have. I'm gonna pop up uh, what it looks like on my phone right now in the app and how I did this. And you want to open and add a port forward for three different ports. And I am going to go ahead and put those numbers on the screen right now. So the numbers that I have a port forward for right now that you need for that you'll need for the server on Pal World is going to be 25575, and this is going to be TCP and UDP. You'll know what that means once you start doing the port forwarding. And as I'm doing this, I'm showing you what this looks like. Then you'll also need to open up port number 8211, which I showed you in that file just a second ago. And you'll also want to open up port number 27015. All of these protocol will be TCP slash UDP or TCP and UDP. Go ahead and apply that once you've figured out how the forwarding works for your particular internet provider. This is the thing that most people will get hung up on. If you figure this out, you're basically home free. Once you've done that and you've gone ahead and inserted your IP address where it should be, now what you want to do is go back to Steam right here where it says Pal World Dedicated Server and just launch. You want to launch that, it'll open up, and you'll have two options. The one you want to do is play Pal World Dedicated Server. Go ahead and click the blue pet play button here, and it should, if you've done it right, add this little black box here. And yes, this is the server right here. Uh, and you can minimize that. You can put that behind the game, the game, whatever you want to do. That and you're good to go. Now, how do we join and how do others join our Pal World server? Okay, so what you do now is you open up the game. So now we go to the Pal World game itself and we open it up. So here we go. We're going to open up Pal World and I'm gonna show you how to join a server, the one that you just created. All right, here we are at the title screen here. You want to go to join multiplayer game and go to okay. Now, unfortunately, you should be able to go here and search by server name, and you know my server should come up just like that. But for the most part, what I found, it doesn't. So what you'll have to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that there, is right here at the very bottom, you're gonna have to provide the people you want to join your server with your IP address and then the port number. So as you see here, this isn't my IP address, by the way, this is just the one that they, they kind of auto fill in there. You want to go ahead and whatever that IP address that we got a few minutes ago, you want to type that there and then colon and then the port 8211, hence why we went through the whole port forwarding thing to make sure that everything was going to work. So type in your IP address here, colon 8211, and then click on connect. Now, this will work for you joining on your PC and for other people joining on their PCs if you've done everything the way that I've showed you thus far. Also remember, if you, you know, added a password for your server, they will have to input that as they're joining the server as well. So make sure that you note what those are before you kind of launch the server. Once you've done that, you can go in and it'll load you into the world. It will take you to the character create screen if you haven't done anything or logged into the server before. Uh, I've already done all of that, so it's going to take me directly to the spawn point here. And as you can see, I am now in the server. Now, the easiest way for you to figure out if this works is basically close the server and see if it disconnects you or close the server and try to reconnect. And if it says it timed out, then you know you're, you're on the right path. So now I'm trying to connect with the server closed and I don't do not have the server open. So now if I've done this right, it should load up and it should give me an error code telling me that it either timed out or it cannot connect to the server. And as expected, it said connection timed out. If your connection fails repeatedly, restarting may you know happen. If other players are also unable to connect, the host PC may need to be restarted. And that's another thing, kind of a disclaimer and a pro tip, uh, troubleshooting as well. Once you've done all of this, save all your files, make sure everything's good to go, restart your PC, then reopen the server and you're good to go. But as you can see, because I don't have my server open, and if I go back and I open Steam, you can see the dedicated server is not open, I've closed it down. So in order for people to connect to your server, 
it has to be open, right? I know all this sounds stupid and self-explanatory, but I'm I'm hope I'm hopefully bringing this down to people who have never done this before. Now, a couple of other things that you may run into. If you don't do the port forwarding correctly, if you don't go to your internet, you know, provider and figure out how to do port forwarding, none of this is going to work. So, you have to make sure those ports are open and those those kind of uh, the, the ranges are open from the the ports that I gave you earlier that I put on the screen. And you need to go in and watch a video if you need to and figure out how to do port forwarding for your particular internet provider. And that's that's kind of it. Uh, it's very buggy right now. Things uh, are kind of you know up in the air because of how new the game is. But just remember, if you follow these simple steps, you will be able to open up your own dedicated server. And uh, it's, it's not as hard as you may think. You just need to make sure you go back and watch the steps that I did. Uh, and make sure you're inserting the appropriate things where they should be. You're opening those ports and you should be good to go. If you have any further questions, put those in the comment section down below. Really appreciate it. If this helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.